Hi, this is my Musical Fidelity TriVista 21 tube deck. I've mentioned it before, I think, in the channel, the Modified Channel intro video and in my videos on the Allo US Bridge and Digimon Signatures. It always had a good reputation, so when I got the chance to get my hands on one, I bought it. From day one, actually before then, I was planned to modify it with some choice internal component upgrades. Hey, this is the modified channel after all. Um, so this video is the first in the series on those upgrades. I recently had the chance to listen to uh, Accord Hugo 2 um, against the TriVista 21 in my own system, uh, which was really interesting. Uh, I'll put together a short video on that soon. Meanwhile, on with the upgrade. I opened it up and two things were really apparent. One, it looked like it had come from a smoker's home. Um, so lots of tar build up in there. It was very sticky. And two, I soon discovered that someone else had beaten me to it and this has already been upgraded. Externally, this deck has a couple of light marks. Pretty good really, but it must have had a, a good cleanup because inside it was discolored from cigarette tar and something sticky. You can see that here on the underside of the top cover. I'll get that cleaned up. Was this cleaning fluid that's made its way in from the outside? Or um, has an electrolytic capacitor blown up at some point in the past? I've already made a start cleaning the inside surfaces of the chassis. You can see some of the filth on this cloth here. Ew, nasty. The good news is this deck still sounds good. Uh, probably better than I expected it to. Um, and now I know why. <laughs> it's been upgraded already. I would have chosen better quality parts, but these electrolytics are still better than the nasty Jamicon capacitors that Musical Fidelity installed in the factory. I'm not going to list everything that's been upgraded in here, but it's mostly the electrolytic caps. Okay, so let's have a look at the power supply board. They seem to have upgraded the valve power supply um, reservoir caps, um, but they left the, the, the cheap Jamicons for the analog and digital supplies, the main analog and digital supplies. Curious. And they've bypassed some of these caps on the underside. So, first things first. Let's rip out these nasty electrolytics and get the board cleaned up. I've removed the secondary AC noise snubbing uh, capacitors here. They're pretty low rent and I've replaced them with better quality Wemos. I've also added noise snubbers to the a rectifier stage. I'll do the same for the other rectifier stages at a later point in time. Could upgrade the rectifier diodes here with uh, shot key types uh, and again that's something I'll probably do at a later stage. So here we have some shiny new Nishikon fine gold <laughs> electrolytic caps. Kept the original values, that seems fine. Um, again bypassing these with Wema uh, for consistency on the analog and DAC stages. Whoever did the previous upgrade used um, some half decent actually uh, Siemens uh, bypass caps. I've repurposed those because they're higher voltage for snubbing on the valve power supply stage. Okay again over here these components I had in stock uh, so I've used needed higher voltage for the valve supply so I've used these uh, Vichy NPT 1822s. Okay Let's pop the PCB back in to the chassis and test it out. All the supplies measured okay, so let's hook it up to the main board, plug it in and have a listen. So the DAC sounded a little slow with, with the original uh, power supply as it was, albeit it had, been, it had some uh, bypassing and the SAMO cap upgrade on the valve power. Um, that aside, it's now snappier, and I think we've uncovered the first layer of extra detail. Plus, the imaging is more focused. Good start. So this is a great start to the TriVista 21 upgrades. Um, there's plenty more to come. Stay tuned for those. And of course, if you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up. Take care. You'll see me next time.